Welcome back, as we now look at a typical system and learn to identify some commonly used filter and strainer types. As a general rule, strainers are used on the suction side of a system. Filters are used on the pressure and return lines. The suction side of a system starts at the receiver or tank beginning with the breather. Air enters a tank via the breather whenever the oil level drops during the operation and escapes again each time the level rises. The air intake filter, commonly situated in the filler cap, traps any airborne dirt particles preventing them from entering into the oil. The air filter or breather is a very important part of the total filtration system and must not be neglected. Next, we see the suction strainer situated at the suction end of the pump inlet. This is normally constructed from fine wire mesh, having a pore size of around 100 microns. The suction strainer purely offers protection against large particles or objects, such as rust flakes, bits of gasket material or other debris, from entering the pump and destroying it. The next device we come to is a pressure line filter. This is normally a full flow type filter capable of withstanding high pressure. Pressure line filters are designed to trap particles ranging in size from 3 to 40 microns. Such particles are often caused by abrasion within the pump and are particularly harmful to control valves and other devices that have very small working clearances. Dirt will often enter a system from the outside through, for example, worn cylinder seals. If unchecked, this dirt will find its way into the return line and, as previously mentioned, result in a build-up of sludge at the bottom of the tank. A well-designed system will include a return line filter, usually mounted directly into the tank as seen here. The common rating for return line filters is 25 to 30 microns. To summarize, a system is protected from the harmful effects of dirt by using various strainers and filters. Strainers are normally installed on suction lines whilst filters are fitted into the pressure and return lines. The primary purpose of a strainer is to protect the pump. A strainer is designed to trap relatively large particles and prevent them entering the suction line. The primary purpose of a filter is to trap small dirt particles, thus preventing damage to control valves and sludge formation in the tank. By now, you might be getting the idea that the designers go to a lot of effort in protecting the system from dirt or contamination. But nothing can protect a system from careless maintenance. It will be your responsibility to see that the hydraulic systems in your plant or factory do not become contaminated. This and other maintenance-related topics will be covered in Module 2 of this series. Join us again for more on basic hydraulic system maintenance by viewing other programs in this series.